Hey everybody, welcome to Chicken Chat. I keep getting these, um, I love when people send me things about chickens. Like, I really love it a lot, so don't ever stop. And I've been getting the one about yogurt that, um, from a few different of you, that giving your chickens yogurt helps their egg production. So I have some yogurt over there. We'll see if they even try it. <laughs> I hope they try it. My kids are like asking me to do it, but I can't ever seem to get yogurt to stick around long enough to try it. So we'll see. They're more interested in my neighbor's yard, of course. So anyways, yesterday I couldn't do this because um, my internet went weird and hey, Marianne, and I didn't have a lot of time. So I just had to kind of give up and it probably was for the better because I was kind of a little sassy yesterday and... Sometimes, if you don't know me, Sassy Andrea, hey Sage, isn't, you know, might not leave the best first impression. My husband puts up with Sassy Andrea the most, so you can give him a little hug the next time you see him. But I feel, I'm kind of feeling a little bit bad today because I unintentionally, I think, hurt some feelings. And, I, you know, I don't, I don't try to have any ulterior motives when I do things and I live my life in a way that I have honesty and um, always strive to do what is right even when it's hard and everything that I put up is meant to um, inspire or motivate and never never is it meant to um, to hurt anyone or offend anyone and I've done that a few times, and I guess, you know, I was reading this book, and because I have a hard time when people don't like me. Hey, Elisa. Um, but, the tr but the truth is, is that not everybody's going to like me, and I am learning to be okay with that. Um, I read a book once, and they talked about the fact that, you know, maybe you're a peach, right? And peaches are great. Man, I love peaches. They're one of my favorite fruits. That's why I planted two peach trees in my yard, which have produced delicious fruit, by the way. Um, but not everybody likes peaches. They like apples or bananas better. And that's okay. You know, it doesn't mean that peaches are bad. It just means not that not everybody likes them. So I've been trying to live with the fact that, you know, I won't rub everybody the right way. But I do want you to understand that everything I do or say comes from a genuine place of being that woman who never had enough money, who never put herself first, who complained way more than she would have been willing to admit, who looked at her life and kind of felt like she was asleep and wondered where her passion had gone, wondered why she had dreamed her whole life of becoming a mom, and now that she was one, why she felt so sad and lonely. Like that That's who I was. That's where I was a couple of years ago. And that's a really hard place to be because you feel super ungrateful for the blessings that have been given to you. And a husband who, you know, took a chance on you because you'd been married before and were left with serious baggage with the way you were treated and struggled with feeling like a failure even years into our marriage, worried that he would leave again, leave me because that had happened before. So why wouldn't it happen again? Um, you know, so he put, he put up with a lot, especially when we were first married with my insecurities and my worries that I had regarding that. Um, and that whole trust issues, like trust issues are like a serious thing. Anyway, you know, I, I'd been through so much and, and I worked as a counselor. Like, it's not like I hadn't seen a counselor or understood the importance of that or, you know, really believed that people could change, but I was struggling. I was struggling to change. I knew what I wanted. I just didn't know how to get there. I knew that I wanted to look at my life and wake up excited about my life. Um, but I didn't know how to do that. I just felt tired and stressed and frustrated that I had 
you know, had all these different experiences, but still felt like I was spinning my wheels and didn't know who I was. Oh goodness, there's a lot of people. Hey Emily, hey Patty, hey Jenny, hey Ashley, hey Rachel. Thanks for joining me. I'm a little emotional today. Um, so, you know, when I share things on social media about my journey, I share them because I used to be that girl who was insecure and who was frustrated. And I don't want to be, I didn't want to be that girl anymore, but I didn't know how not to be. Because, you know, you get into this little bubble when you have small children where you only have energy for them. And I'm still in that bubble a little bit. I mean, you know, people want to do things and I say no a lot. And it's because when you have a lot of small children and you have a family and they're your priority, that's where you spend most of your time. And that's where you want to spend most of your time. And it means that you don't necessarily have time um, for people outside of that circle. And that's okay. Like, that's really okay. Um, and I, I hope people know that when I don't say yes to things and I don't do things that it's not because I don't like them or I don't even have an interest in whatever it is they might be doing. It's just that I really only, you know, most of my energy goes to, to the four walls that I live in and the people who live there. So I am kind of on a tangent here, but bear with me. I'm getting somewhere, I promise. But you know, I've, I've, I think maybe I've said things recently that have hurt some feelings and I just, guys, I was there. I, I really was there and I'm not there anymore. And I know what it feels like, you know, you have the good. So then you have the bad. Like one of the things that makes my marriage so great is because I had a marriage that wasn't great. You know, those little things that often bother people in their marriages, they don't bother me because they're so small compared to being in a relationship with someone who when a song comes on the radio that you love and you start singing and they change the channel because they don't want to hear you singing like I know I don't have like this super amazing voice I'm not going to like be on stage anytime soon but to change the channel because I'm singing a song like that's just kind of mean right you know and you know when you go from a relationship with a person like that to someone like my sweet Jared who doesn't care if I sing off key and belts out those songs with me as we put together a puzzle like you know you have something something good but when you know you have something good and you can't see it because you're so sad and uninspired like that's just I that's where I was and you know that's why I share what I do because it really was saying yes to a silly little 30-day challenge group. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Paige. That was the catalyst for a huge change in my life. And when something changes your life like that, of course you want to share it with people. Because maybe they're where you were, and you know that they don't have to stay there. Um, it's just how I feel about my, about my, my religious beliefs. You know, Joining the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as a 16-year-old girl changed the whole course of my life um, in ways that I never even saw were possible. And so just like that is something that I can't step away from because it's, in essence, who I am. This has become part of who I am. You know, yeah, it's a company with a silly name, and I honestly will never have what some might consider a beach body. I've had five kids. Let's be honest. There's still gravity to deal with. Um, but, you know, this is about so much more. You know, I, I posted the other day about my friend Marianne who, she inspires me so much, you know, and she's, she just gets up every day and she does her thing and she cheers on others. And, you know, I want to be like that when I grow up. I'm trying to be like that now. And, you know, my, really my goal, you know, when you get a message from me in your inbox inviting you to one of my, and I've stopped calling them challenge groups. I call them success groups because I like having that positive word on it. When you get an invitation from me, it's not because I'm trying to make money. I mean, I do make money. Let's be real. I provide a great service. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm just signing people up and taking their money. I'm signing people up and giving them recipes and meal plans and constant support. 
and cheering them on. I go to bed thinking about them. I wake up thinking about them. These people in my groups because I love them and I believe in them. And I know, I know that they can use this small thing as a tool to change their life, to look in the mirror and like what they see. So when you get a message from me, that is why. It's because I believe in this and I believe in you and I want to see you live your life in a way that you wake up in the morning excited that you don't wait for Friday or your next vacation or you know some dream that's never gonna happen that you wake up and you're ready to make your dreams happen there's a big difference and I told you I was emotional I don't know it's maybe my periods coming or something but I just, I want you to know that that's where this is coming from. And if you think that you can't do it, I have news for you. You can. You can do hard things. You were made by a king who gave you the potential to do hard things. And you can do them. I know you can do them. And that is what this is about for me. Yeah, I make my silly workout videos. I get up every morning at five o'clock and I put press play and I drink a shake, which for me is much more than a shake. It's, you know, it's about nutrition. It's not really about anything else at this point. Um, it's about so much more than a shake. And I'm surrounded by this community that, that gets me and supports me and loves me. And I want that for you. I want that for the people that I care about. So, I guess I just want you to know that. I want you to know that because I, I try to live my life in, in an honest way, in a way I can be proud of. I want to go after my dreams so that my kids know that they can do the same thing. That it's not just something I say to them, that it's something I believe for myself and for everyone I have ever talked to. And, uh, anyway, I guess that's about all I have to say. I'm going to start to ramble and... I need to go get a tissue, but thanks for joining me today, and please know, just leave this knowing that, um, that you really can. You, can. you can go after those things, and, that, and that's why I, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to instill hope and empower people, and that's what this is about for me. Um, I have a new group starting next week, and that's what it's about for me. You know, I want you to, I want you to look in the mirror and like who you see. I want you to look in the mirror and be proud of who you are. I want you to look in the mirror and not care what size pants you're wearing or what a number on a scale says. I want you to look in the mirror and see yourself as a daughter of a king, because that's who you are, or a son of a king. I have men in my groups too. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and if you need something to change, I would love to help you. I would love to help you. So just send me a message and we'll make it happen.